friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you 8051 microcontroller its introduction features and application this is lecture number 1 of microcontroller series so first we know about what is microcontroller microcontroller is basically the combination of two word micro and controller micro means small in size Micro basically the unit of measurement. If we want to measure anything, we measure in micro, nano. So these are the unit of measurement. Next is controller. Controller is a device that control all the operation of the system. So we can say that microcontroller is a device that which are very small in size and they control the operation of all other devices or we can say that microcontroller is a microprocessor with integrated peripheral so microcontroller have cpu rom ram timer counter oscillator circuit analog to digital converter digital to analog converter serial ports input output port interrupt logic all the functional block on a single chip which make it a complete system so we can say that a microcontroller is nothing but a system on chip or a computer on chip now 8051 microcontroller introduction and history in 1981 intel introduced a 8 bit microcontroller called 8051 8051 is basically belongs to MCS 51 family. Here, 8 bit is the word length of the microcontroller. Word length means if any microcontroller is 8 bit microcontroller or uh, 16 bit microcontroller or 64 bit microcontroller, it means that microcontroller or that processor process 8 bit data at a time. it can fetch 8 bit data at a time it can operate on 8 bit data at a time so it is 8 bit microcontroller it was refer basically as a system on chip or computer on chip because it has cpu ram rom timer counter serial input output port all the component all the functional block on a single chip that make it a complete system Originally 8051 microcontroller was developed using NMOS technology but now a day 8051 microcontroller are using CMOS technology because using CMOS technology the power consumption is low due to CMOS technology the size of microcontroller is very small that is why it is called microcontroller it is a very small chip on a single chip we embedded all the components microcontroller are basically widely used in embedded system consumer electronic automobile system robotics and security camera in microcontroller all the component like serial input output port timer counter all the component are selected according to the application or according to the task performed by the microcontroller for example if we use microcontroller for washing machine we have to perform different tasks so the component select washing machine is different if we use microcontroller in microwave oven we have to perform different operation so the other peripheral devices are select according to the application or according to the task performed next the peripheral are integrated into a single chip the overall system cost is very low the size of the product is small as compared to the microprocessor based system so it is very handy microprocessor based system are more reliable because all the component are connected on a single chip microprocessor based system is easy to maintain so all these features are available in 40 pin ic or we can say that microcontroller is basically a 40 pin ic in microcontroller may have on chip ram rom input output port additional ram rom input output port may be interfaced externally if required the microcontroller with on chip rom provide a software security feature which is not available with microprocessor based system using rom and eprom and microcontroller are dedicated to perform a specific task or to run a specific program that program store in read only memory that is rom and generally do not change 
Microcontroller are low power device. So these are the important features of 8051 microcontroller. Now the block diagram of microcontroller. As I have already told, my microcontroller is a microprocessor with integrated peripheral. It means microcontroller have CPU, ROM, RAM, arithmetic and logic unit, register, interrupt circuit, timer counter, input output port, clock circuit, stack pointer, program counter, all the functional block in a single chip which make it complete system. So this type of microcontroller perform a specific task uh, according to the application or these peripherals are used according to the particular application or particular task performed by the system. Now the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Here we see in the diagram, left hand side given the microprocessor block diagram and right hand side given the microcontroller block diagram. Microprocessor have ALU, arithmetic and logic unit, registers and control unit. They will have separate memories, separate block for input output port, separate block for interrupt timer and clock circuits. So everything is separate on microprocessor. But in case of microcontroller, microcontroller having all the things, all the functional block on a single chip, all the features of microprocessor are present in microcontroller. So we can say that microcontroller is a microprocessor with integrated peripheral. It has ALU, register, control unit, memories, room, RAM, timer, serial communication, interrupt logic, input output port, all the things on a single chip. So microcontroller is a very powerful device and microcontroller are dedicated to perform one task or run one specific program that program is stored in read only memory and generally do not change. Microcontroller are low power device. It has dedicated input device. It has uh, dedicated output device. So according to the application here we choose the peripheral devices. Now the features of 8051 microcontroller. 8051 is basically a 8-bit microcontroller. As I have already told, 8-bit is basically the word length of the microcontroller. Word length means uh, 8051 can fetch 8-bit data at a time, execute or operate on 8-bit data at a time. So it is a 8-bit microcontroller. It having 4 kilobyte of on-chip program memory that is ROM. 128 byte on chip data memory that is RAM, 4 register banks, 128 user defined software flag, 8 bit bidirectional data bus, 16 bit unidirectional address bus, 32 general purpose register each of 8 bit, 16 bit timer, 3 internal and 2 external interrupts, 4 8 bit port, 16-bit program counter and data pointer. 8051 may also have a number of special features such as UARTS and analog to digital converter, OPAMP, etc. So these are the features of 8051 microcontroller. Now the application of 8051 microcontroller. 8051 microcontroller are basically used in consumer appliances like TV tuner, remote control, computers, swing machine, etc. Home applications, TV, video game, microwave oven. In microwave oven, to control the temperature of the microwave. Musical instrument, home security system. Next, in communication system, in mobile phones, intercoms, paging device. Next, offices. In fax machine, we use microcontroller, printer, copier, laser printer. In automobiles, engine controlling, transmission control, temperature control. In aeronautical and space, medical equipment, defense system, robotics or industrial process and flow control system, radio and networking equipment, remote sensing. All here we use microcontroller. So for different different type of application or different type of task, here we choose different peripheral for microcontroller according to the application performed.
in my next video i will explain you classification of microcontroller so stay continue and keep watching my videos